If you're frustrated with the ever-growing spaghetti of cables in your home TV or theater setup and tired of tripping over cables and battling wire jungles in your living room, well, I've got some really exciting news for you. That mess of audio cables, it's about to vanish into thin air. Stick with me as I reveal how a new Bluetooth Low Energy chipset is transforming home entertainment as we know it, promising simplicity, quality, and connectivity like never before all without the wires. I know you may be thinking low energy and audio streaming, these two don't go together, but bear with me and it'll all make sense. And there's a treat in store, a live demo of a 5.1 home audio system powered by NXP's cutting edge technology. For decades, Bluetooth has ruled the wireless audio market, and there's no sign of that changing anytime soon. In fact, with the new LE Audio standard, Bluetooth is set to reinvent wireless audio once more, especially in home entertainment. In this video, we're digging into the world of NXP's latest innovation, the NXH 3675 Bluetooth LE SoC, a game changer that's set to revolutionize the way we experience sound at home, offering an unprecedented audio experience with the magic of LE Audio. Now let's jump into what makes the NXH 3675 not just another chipset, but the heart of future home entertainment through the power of LE Audio. LE Audio supports two different topologies. We have broadcast audio, commonly referred to as AuraCast, kind of like an FM radio station where you can have an unlimited number of receivers and connection-oriented audio, like between your earbuds and your phone, where there's a limit to the number of receivers. Broadcast audio is amazing, but when it comes to use cases where bi-directional audio or data transfer is required, like headsets or teleconference systems where playback and volume control are needed, a connection-oriented approach is key. Diving into the realm of versatile connectivity, NXP's NXH3675 chipset emerges as a master of both worlds, offering robust support for connection-oriented audio and the innovative Orcast broadcast audio. Now let's dive into some of the groundbreaking features that set this chipset apart. First up, the NXH3675 redefines efficiency with ultra-low power consumption, a mere 2.7 milliwatts when actively streaming crystal clear 48 kilohertz audio. This isn't just an incremental improvement, it's a leap towards much more efficient, yet high quality audio solutions. Oh, and it doesn't stop there. The chipset supports Bluetooth 5.3, including the transformative LE audio standard, of course, and AuraCast broadcast audio as well, opening doors to a new world of audio possibilities. At its core, the NXH3675 boasts a powerful dual-core audio DSP capable of managing up to seven connected isochronous streams or CISs. But for high-definition audio, it utilizes five streams, delivering four high-fidelity channels at 48 kilohertz and one dedicated low-frequency channel at 16 kilohertz used for the subwoofer. And for those moments that demand versatility, such as multilingual presentations or broadcast events, the chipset supports two stereo bisses for AuraCast broadcasts. This means broadcasting two distinct stereo audio feeds, each received seamlessly by an unlimited number of listeners. Then we have support for the standard LC3 codec, and on top of that, adding another layer of excellence, the NXH3675 supports LC3+, Plus for those seeking ultra-low latency or high-resolution audio streaming up to 96 kilohertz. Despite its might, the chipset's compact size, a mere 3x3 three three millimeters, makes it an ideal candidate for many sleek home entertainment solutions. This includes wireless speakers, soundbars, TVs, wireless conferencing systems, wireless microphones, wireless speaker phones, and also personal audio devices such as earbuds, headsets, and even hearing aids. In today's showcase, we're zeroing in on the connection-oriented capabilities of this innovative solution. So you may ask, what's so unique about the NXP-based home audio solution? Well, in addition to all the unique features we just covered, it's able to achieve impressive end-to-end -end latency numbers. This includes less than 35 milliseconds for three sysses, carrying five channels total, and less than 40 milliseconds for five sysses, also carrying five channels total, 
and an audio jitter of around 12 microseconds. These performance numbers allow it to satisfy the requirements of the most demanding industry-leading audio standards out there and still leave room for further optimization. Also, its capability to process multiple audio streams makes it one of the first in the market to enable this solution. Now let's take a look at what a home entertainment setup would look like using the NXP NXH3675 chipset. In this setup that you see, the center channel is processed and output directly at the soundbar or TV. As shown in the diagram, it is driven out through the NXP IMX series audio processors, but any other audio processor can be used. Now the remaining channels are wirelessly streamed through the main NXH3675 in the soundbar or TV to the NXH3675 chipsets in the three wireless speakers. The audio transmitted by the NXH3675 comprises three connected isochronous streams or CISs. One stream includes both the left and surround left audio channels, each at 48 kilohertz. Another stream carries both the right and surround right audio channels, also at 48 kilohertz. And the final stream manages a single channel for the subwoofer at 16 kilohertz. Now in the near future, an advanced configuration utilizing five CISs will be available. Again, this achieves less than 40 milliseconds of latency end to end. This future setup will enable the separation of the front and the rear channels for both the left and the right audio, providing a more immersive cinematic experience. And now the piece de resistance, a demo of a 5.1 home audio system using this remarkable solution from NXP. So here I have a video recorded with the audio channels going out to different channels or with the audio going out to different channels in each section of the video. So we're gonna take a look at the playback that's going from the NXH3675. So this is similar to the setup in the diagram that we looked at before where a NXH3675 will be located a, in a TV or a sound bar and it will be taking the five channels the front right and surround right, and the front left and surround left, as well as the subwoofer channels and streaming them out in three connected isochronous streams. So the first board here will receive a connected isochronous stream that consists of the front right and the surround right. The second one here will receive the front left and surround left. And the third one will receive a 16 kilohertz channel that is mono going to the subwoofer. But let's play the video and pay attention to the lip sync of the video and the audio to notice any lag and the latency should be pretty low so we shouldn't see any lag in the audio between the audio and the video. This is a 5.1 audio demo. You should hear this from all the channels. This audio you should hear from the front right channel only. I repeat, front right channel only. This audio you should hear from the front left channel only. I repeat, front left channel only. This audio you should hear from the surround right channel only. Surround right channel only. And this audio you should hear from the surround left channel only. I repeat, surround left channel only. And this audio you should hear from the subwoofer. I repeat, this audio should come out from the subwoofer only. This is the end of the audio demo the 5.1 audio demo, and you should hear this audio from all the different channels. As you can see, the video and audio are perfectly in sync because of the ultra low latency that we have, which is less than 35 milliseconds end to end. So this was the video and the demo for the audio channels streaming using the connected isochronous streams going from the NXH 3675 to three other boards with five channels. What's exciting about this is that the NXH 3675 chipset is not just a prototype, but is now rolling off the production line and ready for you to put it to the test. 
The mass production of this chipset is a milestone in audio technology, making advanced LE audio more accessible than ever. And it gets better. The comprehensive SDK and the very demo that we showcase today are available for you to explore. It's a hands-on opportunity to experience the future of audio. Now, if you're curious about integrating this technology into your projects, then check the links in the description below for all the details on how you can acquire an evaluation kit. We're navigating an era where technology is not just part of our life, but it's actually redefining it. With NXP's strides in Bluetooth and LE audio, we're witnessing a paradigm shift in wireless audio, bringing us closer to a world where sound is limitless and innovation knows no boundaries. Thank you for joining me on this exciting journey. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more Bluetooth technology breakthroughs. Until next time, keep tuning in to the future.